Hey everybody, just walking around looking at some of my um, fruit trees. These are the kefir pear trees. They look like they're doing really good. I started over here with just pruning this one. Just leaving a center open. I'm going to show you to do how to do this one. Pretty simple, pretty basic. You just look at the structure of your tree. I want to keep mine at a length where I can actually um, be able to get the fruit from the tree so I want to prune it back so it's not so tall. Um, this one's really not that tall. It's probably about five feet right now. But I really don't want to get it any taller. I want it to be more spread out. So you just look at all your branches, see what looks really good. Uh, I'm going to make mine more of like an open vase shape. That way more air can flow through it, hopefully to prevent more uh, mold and mildew. So if you look at this, I got one here. That is coming out this way one over there one here and one there so this one basically is just growing up in the center of it so I think I'm gonna cut that one back and just keep the four healthy looking ones they all look healthy right now but I think I'm gonna sacrifice these two branches just so I can open up this middle a little bit more I'm gonna go in and cut this one off and then cut this one right here there we go I'm gonna try to take these and root them I don't know how they will turn out grafting would be good on those ones if I actually know how to graft I haven't started on that technique yet I do more of rooting by the cutting method um, let me see. So it looks pretty healthy right now. It's open in the center. And that's about it. That's all I really do to this one. I'm going to go look over here. This is my um, grapefruit. It seems to be doing good. It suffered quite a bit from that frost damage we just had last weekend. Uh, you can see all the new growth that it had here has wilted and died off. Right there. Those are all new growth right here. You can see all the died back. But the plant itself is still doing really good. So I'm just going to let it be. It doesn't need to be trimmed. It's about the height that I want it to be so that I can keep growing outward. This is a cherry, four in one cherry tree that I purchased from uh, fastgrowingtree.com um, on here you can see these are the labels this is a Bing cherry, I got a Stella cherry there is a Van cherry and a black Tartarian cherry so each branch they grafted it right there that's grafting technique so everything looks pretty good this one was super tall and leaning toward the center so I just basically took um, a rope and tie it and then lean it toward that way. And I didn't want it to be tall, but I wanted to keep producing and keep that um, the length of it. So I kind of lean it toward that way. So shoots keep going that way. So every all of them looks pretty good considering the frost that we had. Now cherry trees are cold tolerant. They can go down. Uh, I don't remember the zone on it. But they said that it can go down to um, like zone 5, I think. 5 to 9. So it's a 4-in-1 cherry tree. So here's this one. The Stella cherry, they grafted it and it looks like, you know, you got 3 growth out of it. And it's growing that way. I, If I wanted to, I can remove this one because it's growing in the center. This one right here is the black tartarian one this is the one that has this huge branch that's coming out but see how this small little tiny one is sticking toward the center coming out i might as well just get rid of it because i don't want it to produce um, anything that's coming toward the center and then this yellow one is the bing cherry it's going correctly in that direction now it looks like i have ants on it just a little tiny one one or two of them uh, ant, ants is usually a sign of aphids. 
So if it's not too bad right now, you may want to treat it, which I actually put some Vaseline down here to prevent the ants from crawling up, but it doesn't seem to be preventing it. So I'm going to have to treat it so it doesn't get too bad. Over here, this is my Granny Smith apple tree. It's looking really sad. I don't see any new growth or anything. It's the only one that's like not doing anything. Uh, this is the one that I purchased from Pike's Nursery. And it it did okay last year. It's zoned 4 to 8. It did okay last year, but I think the transplant shot definitely didn't help it. So I'm just going to let it do its thing, see what branch. I mean, I really honestly need to see what branch is alive and dead. And right now everything is so dead on it. Looks like everything is like here, you could see, could be a growth right there. But I did do, you know, quickest way to know how your plant is still alive. Just take your nail and scratch it a little bit. If you see green, like that. If you see green, you see it? That usually means your tree is alive, but it just hasn't sprung to life yet. But this Granny Smith looks really sad. I also have two citrus tree that is in a pot over here. And that cold snap, I didn't get a chance to get it into uh, inside. And it really, really damaged. This is a Maya's lemon. Hopefully it will bounce back. My other one did, and it bounced back really well. But this one, yeesh. This one definitely looks like it took a whole bunch of damage. Look at all the leaves around it. And then this is an orange. I'm not sure what variety it is. I didn't keep most of the tags when I moved it from the old house into this one. But this one suffered as well. Look, you can see um, ladybug. Ladybugs are a good sign. They will eat the aphids. But uh, usually what happened is the aphids will attack your plant so the ladybugs will come and eat the aphids but if you have ants the ants will then attack the ladybugs so you need to keep keep your ants under control but yeah it's looking really sad i'm gonna have to assist these guys come springtime but look there's like a black butterfly over here i did see one monarch butterfly over here so that was exciting but those poor guys there's really no food there was a couple of buds on here but you can see that cold snap basically destroyed them what is that I'm trying to see what that orange thing is on my plant but it's not a ladybug All right, I think that's all the pruning I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna prune any of these guys because we're supposed to get, I think, one more cold snap coming in. So I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. Let it stress, not have to tinker with it. And then after that, then I can go in and do a pruning back. And then hopefully they will recover and come back to life. I did have, I think, a huge aphid issue with them because that's why all the ladybugs are over here. You can see there's like four or five of them on this branch right here that is just hanging out. See? Inside leaves. There's one underneath there. And they were having a feast until this cold snap came and basically just killed the whole plant off. All right, that is about it. I hope you guys are having a great day, enjoying this beautiful weather before this two nights of coldness that we're gonna get. And then hopefully it will start to get warmer and you can see life in all of your plants. You guys take care, have a great day. Bye everybody.